Good morning, everybody. Park Rad Pad here. <laughs> and I'm parked beside Dennis. We're over at a property just on the other side of these bushes. We're going to get out there and swing. This is a permission that Dennis has gotten. Let's see what kind of goodies we can find today. If we don't do well here, we may move on somewhere else. But uh, either way, it's going to be a great day. Before I get too far, you want to take your little notepad out and write this down. Okay, Bob Neal. A lot of you know his name. He's got a uh, YouTube channel called Papa Bear Detecting. I'm going to leave a link in the description down there. You need to go and check him out. Dude found a gold coin. I mean, absolutely amazing, pristine, beautiful looking gold coin. You want to see that video. You want to share in that excitement and feel the energy coming from him when he finds it. I'm going to leave a link down there. He is a Rat Pack member. So glad he gave me the heads up on that. I'm going to put a couple of pictures up here. And the next time you see me, I'll be digging. Wish me luck. Okay, I am out here, swinging along, first target, three big chunks of rotted out slag. Get them out the way, that's the name of the game. Alrighty, I just opened up this hole down here and I got part of a pull tab and then down below that, a 1980 copper. Sweet stuff, the day is rolling now, I'll catch you at the next target folks. All right, and your boy Park Rat just scores the tab from an electrical plug. Nice. Says something on it. Probably nothing special. Yeah, some code letters or something like that. All right, in the pouch it goes. It's copper. Yeah, what year you got? Let's see what you got there. I can't see it. Come on, you got them young eyes. <laughs> I got them old eyes. Well, we know it's copper. We know it's a memorial. Oh, it's a 1981. It's not even copper. Yeah, oh, it, is. it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah. it's yeah, copper. Yeah. It's copper all day long. Just copper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. <laughs> now, that was a deep one he just found. This place has got a lot of junk in it, but that makes it fun, man. When you're filtering through all those different signals and you get something cool like that, you know, we don't care that it wasn't a, a wheat penny. We don't care that it wasn't an Indian head. It's like, in a lot with this much trash, we got coins? Yeah! You gotta stay excited about what you get. That's how you end up getting more. Okay, so here's the secret. At least it's my secret. When you're on a super trashy lot like this, here's what I like to do. I take my machine and from one point, I find an area that's nice and clear. I'll stand on this point and detect everything in a circle around me only as far as the machine can reach. All these beeps you're hearing, I'm going to dig everything that is within my grasp from this point and then move out to the edge of that circle and start making another circle. And that slow, methodical, you're going to get tons of trash, you're going to get all the trash. That's the important thing. And it will clear way for the, the better stuff next time. Now remember where my starting point is by lining myself up with a point on the building or a special tree or something that's out here and I know I'm right at the focal point between the corner of this building and that old water pump. So I know where my starting point is always. I can come back here, start again in the same spot, check this area first to see for new signals and then move on like I did before. All right, that's how I do it. I don't know how you do it, but hopefully that helps somebody out. All right, got me a big hole here. Nice signal, was coming up like a copper all day long. Had to get under that brick and then pulled out this beauty right here. Dun, dun, dun. All right, most of you would recognize this. Some of you may not. This is the switch from an old flashlight and that is super cool all right throwing that one in the pouch gonna go show dennis and uh we'll keep on keeping on 
digging up the cool stuff like this. All right, other than being a flat metal disc, I got no idea what this could be. Doesn't have anything written on it. Hmm. That's pretty cool. That's that old style. We are, we are going on getting some interesting stuff here. Dennis just got a metal bottle cap. Now on this side, eh, nothing special. But on that side, and I know I can't zoom eyes in for you to read everything. You see that number 10? This was a game they had going called 21. And if you got caps that equaled 21, you would win $50. They probably wouldn't still honor it, but cool to find old stuff like that. I just got this, um, as near as I can tell, this might be some makeshift pipe. You know, got a little carb at the end there, and anybody's guess. All right, back to the swing. Well, nothing spectacular, but I got a nice tube here. I can't get any writing off of it. Hopefully the cap's out there somewhere. All right, in the pouch. I'm going to swing this road edge and see if I can determine where a mailbox used to be. Now you can see there's a lot of trash out there. Cans all over the place. Bits of cans all over the place. This could be a headache, but it could also be worth it. So let me take some swings and see what I get. If you don't see me out there, you'll find me back in the shade. Now not too deep of a target there. Hey, what is this thing? Heh. <laughs> All right, it's out of the way, that's what it is. All right, we're working along. Dennis comes over with this target. Many of you will recognize, a lot of you unfortunately will not. This is a spark plug gap tool from back in the day when people could work on their own cars because they were made so huge, you could fit your hands in there and actually do the things you needed to do. Shoot, you could put a chair in there and work on some of the cars. There's a small child in there that's it. changed the bolt for you. Lower the hood so you didn't get rained on and stuff. <laughs> Nowadays, that don't happen, but that's a cool little piece right there. Good job, man. All right, detector rats, put on your thinking caps because I got no clue what this thing is. But it's copper. There you go. Gotta love the copper. All right, in the pouch she goes. Hey everybody, my ugly kisser again. Look, before I get too far along with everything, we want to welcome a new Rat Packer aboard. Now this Rat Packer does not have a video clip to send in and did not send in any still shots to use. However, they saw when I was detecting with Steve, contacted me, I helped them get in contact with Steve and now Steve has a new machine on the way, an MX Sport only been used about six times and uh, he's going to be getting that on Monday hopefully Saturday but uh, he'll be getting back out in the field and having an awesome time and so for reaching out like that caring so much about the community we want to welcome Neil Rosau I hope I'm pronouncing that right R-O-S-S-O-W we want to welcome Neil to the Rat Pack dude you went above and beyond much appreciated much love from the community thank you so much welcome to the rat pack brother all right still clipping along here uh trying to stick to the shady area not a lot of digging going on in this area but look at that dun, 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 dun. there is a 95 percent chance that is a knob from an old tv or radio very very cool all right in the pouch it goes yeah, I got about three feet away from that knobby job and found this little discussion. Again, could be TV or radio. Awesome. Okay, we got a good mystery in hand. I got this big iron piece with these other iron pieces hanging off of it. I don't know if you can see, but they're actually held on by wire. That's not roots holding those in place. Would love to know what that is. Also in that same hole, I got this gasket looking piece here. But... All of that stuff aside, below all of that was this. This is brass all day long, and I got honestly no clue what it is. I'd love to think this was from a Model T or something like that, but if any of y'all has any ideas or inklings on what this might be, please let me know down in the comments. Dennis was over. Um, he, of course, getting the typical junk like I am, and then pulls this. Look at that. That is the top of a lipstick tube all day long. All right, getting through this trash, starting to get to the goodies. I think you can expect good things out of him over the next few hunts here. That's for sure. Awesome stuff, man. 
All right, I'm clipping along in a new area here, and I told you these things are just attracted to me. <laughs> Cast net weight. Gotta love it. All right, good piece of lead on the day. I'm a happy rat for sure. Let's go that way. All right, perfect dime signal there. Beautiful little toy truck here. Awesome stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to make out anything on the bottom as far as makers and stuff. Let me brush it up and I'll get right back to you. Okay, all I can make out on it is Kenworth and Made in Hong Kong. Can't tell what is written above it, if if anything. But uh, there you go. All right, good stuff down here. Big old part of a spigot. Yep, park rat not going to complain about that one. Awesome stuff. All right, everybody, Dennis and I are talking about, oh, yeah, I found a beer can over here, part of a beer can over there. I'm like, yeah, I found an old Miller High Life. He's like, I found part of a bush and a course. A lot of people don't think of beer cans as bucket list items, but I swear, someday I want to find a can of Billy Beer. That would be awesome. You know, if you don't know what Billy Beer is, go and look it up, because, <laughs> man, that was a great time. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. It just swung my way into a nice piece of copper strap. Always happy to get the copper. All right, rolling on. This is turning into a good day, man. I love getting on a new property. Yeah, you get a lot of trash, but boy, you get a lot of trash out of the way for next time, and that's what it's about. Okay, so right there, I found that piece of copper strapping. And right there, I had a really nice signal jumping between penny and dime. Now, you guys know Park Rat loves getting him some lead, and I've gotten all kinds of lead. But there is nothing better than getting a piece of lead that's unlike any other you've ever gotten before. This is some type of sinker. It's got a hole in each end. Check this bad boy out. Got the hole there. You got the hole there. Man, that thing is a monster. Beautiful shape. Feel that, man. That's, That's just, freaking gorgeous. That oh is sick. God. Dude, I love getting new lead. I think you this know? was a Spanish one because it's got the cross. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's this a, is a Spanish lead. It got that uh, cross on it. Maybe it's a <laughs> Hail Mary fishing weight. Yeah. I don't know, but that is too cool. All right. Happy rat on the day. Okay. I'll see you at the next. And we're back. Had a little short sody fizz break. Uh, got Dennis some batteries for his machine. And uh, first target out here. Looks like a door striker plate. Don't know anything more about it than that, but glad I got that one out of the way. On to the next. There it is. Park Rat got another coin on the day. 1991 zinc. Not too deep. Right there and really cool. It was under this chunk of like old asphalt slab whatever it is there so uh yeah pretty cool oh, one more coin on the day oh look at that my beauty oh yeah that's for a, a nozzle like, nozzle. like yeah. yeah 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 i'm trying to think like compressor yeah yep very cool I don't know how i missed it. it was right on the damn surface <laughs> man yeah. all right everybody looks like i'm filming again i'm having some camera problems with storage issues that's going to be my day. i got to go and clean up my phone, get this video together and junk and stuff like that. So I will catch you in the next episode. Uh, you'll see me again in a few seconds here anyway. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks to Dennis for having me out, brother. Sure was sure. fun. This place is going to be giving them good stuff. You're going to definitely want to stay tuned in to Kicking Cancer Metal Detecting. If you're not already subscribed, get over there, hit that subscribe button. You're going to see some great adventures. All right, I'll see you in the next clip. Thanks. All right, I'm back, getting ready to unload everything off the phone and uh, get it cleaned up and junk and stuff. Had a great hunt. I know we'll get out there again eventually soon. And uh, yeah, enjoyed the day. Hope you enjoyed it too. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Go check out those channels down in the description. Give them all a big thumbs up. And never forget, you are only one hole away from a really good day.